And nearly four years after the murder of UNC student Faith Hedgepath, her family is still no closer to having closure. The 19-year-old was found beaten to death inside of her Chapel Hill apartment. To this day, her murder remains unsolved. CBS North Carolina's Bo Minnick spoke with her sister, who says she hasn't given up getting justice. She was a great person. An awesome student. Every year, right around this time, it brings a somber reminder to a Warren County family. Rolanda Hedgepath remembers September 7th, 2012, the day she lost her sister, Faith Hedgepath. Time heals nothing. Uh, you just adapt and go on with life because you have to. The UNC student's body was found in her Chapel Hill apartment bedroom. An autopsy revealed she died from a severe beating to her head. So you have people walking around who've done this to her and they think they'll get away with it. They walk around living their lives when they stole her. Chapel Hill police are looking to bring whoever is responsible to justice. In the last year, Rolanda Hedgepath tells us a new lead investigator has been assigned to the case. We're just used to the certain detectives at first, um, but sometimes fresh eyes are better. For now, her family can only wait and remain optimistic that they will get justice for Faith. In just a couple of weeks, hundreds of people will come here to nearby Halifax County for an event honoring Faith's life and raising money for scholarships in her name. In Hollister, Bo Minnick, CBS North Carolina. And those scholarships will go to two Native American college freshmen. Hedgepath was a member of the Holowesapone tribe. Chapel Hill police are offering a $40,000 reward to help solve this case.